So why social, why now? Or why social discovery and why now? So I've had the idea for what Banjo's become probably about a year and a half ago, maybe even a little longer. But at the time when I explored the marketplace and talked to users of such products, iPhone and Android, as well as apps that you could you know, take photos and share them with, uh, social posts, check-ins, they really hadn't come into their own yet. And now we can see in the marketplace, the masses have adopted the smartphones. More and more social networks are getting used every day. Uh, and so now it's a, it's a great time for social discovery because each time you, you open up your phone, you have an opportunity to discover what you've been missing. So people always ask me, how did I come up with the idea for Banjo? It actually started with a personal experience. I was traveling back home from Boston Logan Airport to the West Coast, and when I got home, I checked on one of my social networks and realized that one of my friends had been in the uh, Boston Logan Airport at the same time I was. Not only was he at the airport at the same time, he was in the same terminal. And this is a friend I hadn't seen in years, and we had served in Desert Storm together, and I was really bummed out that we missed him, and I was like, how can this happen? So I said, let's make a, you know, let's make a service so this doesn't happen to anybody. And so it really began as a service for you know, missing your friends and, and not having those missed opportunities anymore. And then as I started applying it to, to our friends, it's like, well, what about everybody else that's out there, everything that's happening around us every day? And so that's why I said, let's just apply it to everybody so that we all can discover what we're missing. Because we oftentimes don't find out what we're missing until it's too late. How fast do I think Banjo will take off and why? So that's a really difficult question because, you know, you never have an idea how fast something's going to go viral or if it even will because we don't have any control over that. But in this day of technology and information age, you know, things can get going pretty fast. But right now our goal is just to listen to the users. And I think as we modify the service, as we add new features, as we change things based on the user feedback, I do think the potential for, for Banjo to go fast and go and go viral is huge because when you start realizing what you're missing out on every day it becomes quite addicting to not miss out on that again and so that's why I think Banjo will be really successful. Who's Banjo's market? So Banjo's for anyone with an iPhone or Android mobile phone and shortly we'll have other devices as well that it can be used on but it's for any demographic young or old working professional college student whether you're at home, whether you're on vacation, whether you're at work, it doesn't matter. There's always an opportunity to discover what's around you. And so Banjo is for everyone. Who's my favorite superhero and why? So I was asked this question once before. Uh, it was a long time ago when I was in professional auto racing. I was doing a magazine interview and they asked me who my hero was. Not superhero, just hero. And I answered it as my mom. And to this day, it does remain to be my mom because she taught me how to be tough, to be resilient, to never give up. But you said superhero. So I guess then it'd be my mom with a cape. Twinkies or veggies? Have you seen me? Obviously, I don't need to have Twinkies. I need to have veggies. But seriously, I'm, I'm, I have a gluten intolerance and I can't even eat Twinkies. So it must be veggies then, right? But... Maybe someone over here has got a gluten-free cookie I could probably have. I've been doing a good job with this interview. I deserve a cookie. Gluten-free. End the ending. So I just want to take a second to thank you for your time. We really appreciate it here at Banjo. We're very passionate about what we're doing and the service that we've provided. And we look forward to the user's feedback so that we can even make it better. Thanks. Go. So who's my favorite superhero and, and why? So I really don't have a favorite superhero. I mean, as a kid, I guess I wore underoos and I had a favorite superhero, but I can't remember who it was now. I've graduated to wearing Lululemons now with comics on them. But if I had to say who's a superhero, how about more like heroes? How about the Boondock Saints? Like those guys are my hero.